Yeah. Guys, we have to figure out what what is uniform circular motion. Yeah. What? What is a student in uniform circular motion? It's a uh, constant speed. Constant speed. Okay. So uniform circular motion is assuming constant speed. If you're going at got constant speed, can you have tangential acceleration? No. No. Okay. But simply because of the fact that you're going in a circle, you have to have what? Centripetal acceleration. Why? Every, even the littlest change in your movement is going to be a direction change. Okay? Why are direction changes accelerations? It has to do with the mathematical. So are we saying that it stays on the same constant line? Yes. Okay. So we're assuming the same circular path. Yeah. yeah, because if you were to, assuming you had the same force, it would change its speed if you were further away. Or it's it's back. Back. Circular motion. Okay. Imagine I had some string that was attached to a ball and I was swinging. Can you imagine that? Okay. It's kind of what this looks like here. And this is where it gets a little confusing. The force exerted by the spring has a horizontal and a vertical. It's kind of goofy, isn't it? If you're swinging. Like this, how is the string doing a vertical force? Because it's not parallel it's not the ground. It's goofy. Does? The explanation is goofy. It is. Wait, it's goofy. What? I'm not saying it's not Tom going to explain it. Okay, we're going to have to explain it from some of the physics stuff that we've discussed in, in the past. Okay? First of all, if, now, it's very difficult for me to like keep it perfectly going horizontal, having no vertical movement, but assuming I can do that. Does that make sense? Okay, we know what's acting on that ball always. Gravity. gravity. So if gravity is acting on the ball and there is no force opposing gravity, what would happen to that ball? It would go down. It would have to, right? And what is the only other force acting on the ball? Gravity. Outside of gravity. The what's the touch string. the string, right? So if we know that gra the only forces out here on the ball are the string and the gravity, and the ball is not moving up or down, the string has to what? Have a equal force to the gravity. Have to have it has to have some vertical component to it. Now, how that works, I'm not entirely sure. Full goofy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little, it's a little, a little goofy. Okay. That's that's for later when you gotta get to a higher level. Advanced physics. We don't have that class. That's not a thing. So what if we take advanced? I wish. And you pick it up next year. I wish I could teach advanced physics. Advanced physics and okay. So it says that the vertical component of the of the string is going to be equal and opposite that of the gravitational force. Now, why does it have to be equal and opposite to that of the gravitational force? What tells us it has to be there? Because it's not moving up or down. Yeah, the ball is not moving up or down, so therefore it cannot it, it cannot have a net force that's not zero. 
Okay? So what's really interesting is this would be what the strings force would look like. The vertical component would counteract the gravitational force. Do you see how the vertical component of the strings of this of the string would get rid of the vertical component of the gravity? And what you're left with is this the strings horizontal component is what we would call the centripetal force. Okay? And the centripetal force is always center seeking because center seeking, or that's what centripetal means, it means center seeking. You can imagine the horizontal force of any string attached to some object going in a circular path is always going to be towards the center at every given point, right? Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. I know. It's, what? Centripetal is the horizontal component? Yep. And then what's the vertical? The vertical component is just the component that counteracts the gravity. Okay, it so makes what's it that so, called? I don't, it doesn't have a special name. So we're not going to find that? No. Oh. It's the goofy component. Come on. Yeah, it is the goofy component. Okay? So your centripetal force is going to be your horizontal component of your of your string force in this context. The vertical component is going to counteract the what? Gravity. I know it's it's pretty conceptual. All right. So you already have this one, right? Okay. So we're gonna uh, excuse me. We're gonna add some triple force equation to this. Okay, so first off, a force from Newton's second law is the FMA, right? Yes. Force is mass times acceleration. We're that. talking about centripetal, we're talking about circular motion. Our acceleration is only gonna be due to the centripetal acceleration, correct? Because we're assuming uniform constant motion. So we're going to make it easy and say that there is no tangential acceleration when we're doing these circular motion processes. Okay? Yeah, M is just going to be a regular mass, but acceleration here has to be your centripetal acceleration or is it going to be your centripetal force? What is it you're saying again? Uh, that's your tangential velocity. Now that's always going to be constant, correct? Right. Your so VT was always going to be constant. It's not accelerating. Because the, it, your acceleration isn't due to a change in velocity, it's due to a change in direction. And it won't be a problem with both. Yeah, we won't do a problem with both, yes. 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 Squaring has nothing to do with whether it's speeding up or something like that. It has to do with, the, I think, the, the high G you do the circumference area of a circle. Um, no. Do we ever do equals x squared like that? In yeah. awesome. chemistry, we do. We talk about it. We don't actually. We talk about how energy, energy has mass. mass. Yeah, we, we did the, we did the, I don't think we ever dealt, did a problem with equals x squared. We talk about how energy has mass. I thought we had a problem. We did have a problem. No. You haven't taken the class. Yeah, we had a. You yeah. gave us a constant. For we talked about it. I, I swear that's a thing. Yeah. Yeah. It is a thing. Yeah. Yeah. I've done. Oh. No. No. Was that chemistry? Did you give us the constant? Yeah. Yeah. Well, then I did. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
because what cancels out? The, your birth component has is zero. So your net force in centripetal in centripetal problems, or one where you're going in a circle, is just going to be your horizontal component. So the centripetal force is really just the overall net force for circular motion. Okay? Any type of force or combination of forces can provide this net force. For example, friction between a race car's tires and a circular track is a centripetal force that keeps the car in a circular path. Interesting. So when the car drives on a wall and it's like when you turn right to go left in cars. So yeah, you got it. What? So it's like when you turn right to go left in cars. Oh, okay. As another example, gravitational force is a centripetal force that keeps the moon in its orbit. Okay. So in the string example, that's just one example of how something is in circular motion, stays in circular motion. There are other examples. Okay. So if the moon like slowed down in its orbit, it would eventually drop, or it would change its path and drop. That's why they say, that's why they say that the this like the solar system that we are in, like if you like even shifted one thing, like what they say, like an inch, everything would completely fall and collapse on itself, and everything would just shatter. It's like less than an inch, actually. I think it's like a millimeter. Like if you if you shift something even a millimeter off, even if you loop something, yeah. Like they say that that's part of that's part of um, creationist uh, one of the greatest ways that creationists just kind of explain that there's no way this stuff happens by chance. But I don't think that's ever happened or will ever happen. We're talking about really big asteroids. And if the Earth shifted, you know, there's a slight amount. So ever find out the Earth jumped to the same size? If that really bothers you, look it up. I'm pretty sure that's a big I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can find it for you. No. Well, you were able to talk about that. Okay. Wait. You're talking about evolution. Every day. And I was, no, that's actually. No, it's Yeah, but like, you started like, I feel like I've heard you say that a while. That's true. She does. I don't All right, here we go. That's actually fun. Okay, can we finish? Yeah. Got it? So if centripetal force vanishes, the object stops moving in a circular path. Makes sense. If what? If the centripetal force vanishes, the object isn't going to go in circular motion. So right? if there's no friction on the track? Well, first off, that yeah, that's not reality. But yes, in theory. So it would just start going straight. Let's just start with the. The, the ball to a string idea. Okay. Let's, let's start with it easy. But I'm saying the string like this. That's fine. That's fine. You turn the headlights on. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Okay. Yeah. And this. Yeah. And this. In this visual, you're probably swinging it like this, versus like this. Oh. Go, does that make sense? I'm going like this. I so thought like, it was like. Well, early, well in the earlier example. It doesn't matter what direction. Yeah. So. So what they're showing, if I'm if I'm going like this. And if the string were to snap right here, if I run a, a line tangent to that circle, like there's a line tangent to the circle. If you have no more force pulling in a circular path, it's and it were to, if the string were to break at that point, there's no more centripetal force. It's just going to go in the direction it was already going, which was in that point straight up. Yeah, remember the string is the centripetal force? Now notice if it breaks here, yeah, tangential, the tangential line would cause it to go there, but what's acting on it? Right. Gravity. Oh. And so that's why it's going to form a parabola shape. But assuming there was no gravity, it would just go straight or long. Forever. Yeah, so it makes sense. I mean, I can study more. So. Yeah. What 
Situations we got at, you know, we got gravity yeah. acting upon it. And yes, there's still gravity acting upon this, but since it's straight down and it was going straight up, you wouldn't notice a change in direction. Okay? Yeah. If we could do physics in the zero gravity in the future. Oh, well, why don't you? Yo, there's a thing in like. You want to become a teacher, come back to Grandview, and we can, yes. we can work on it. There's that. a thing in like Norway where they fly you up and like fly you down so you can yeah. see your oh, there's such a way to get rid of gravity. So cool. yeah. How do you get rid of gravity? You just fly up and you fly that fast. No, Alright, so what this slide is trying to show you is when, remember when we talked about inertia a while ago? Okay? And I draw that probably funny picture of the car and when you drive over a drive over a curve, okay, what happens to your body? Oh, you get that, right? Because your object wants to go in that straight line motion, and will continue to go in that straight line motion until some force causes you to go in that circular pattern. Okay? But we know that there's friction going on with the tires of the car that gets the car to go in the circular motion. What is it that gets your body to go in the circular motion? Whatever. Yeah, whatever, whatever object pushes, you know, creates that force. It could be the seatbelt, it could be you hit the side of the car, it could be, you know, your boyfriend smiling with you. Oh, 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 Although at this point, I think you'll find the math in this chapter is not overly bad. Yeah. yeah. Actually, yeah, no, All right. All right, did that work? Woo. You guys are so lame. Why do I need to teach? You guys are smart. You don't need me. You can watch YouTube videos. Right. Why am I here? That's why I get paid so much. You can get paid. Exactly. Thanks for questions. A circular motion. I didn't Jesse. technically say that. Uh, I said it. Okay. How many of you guys are smart enough to do this? So why don't you do it? Okay. Uh, I'm uh, there's better enough in unit conversions, so I'll be upset. Oh, there's Just remember, it's senti. Hey, I got senti on the last test, so. <laughs> Will you get milky? Let me know what you get. I'll let you know. It's third, right? Nope. Six? Wait, did I say milli? Yeah, it's negative three. I meant to say micro. Okay, so, micro is negative nine. Micro is negative three. No, 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 it's negative eight. Nano is negative six. No, negative eight is the micro is nine. What? Negative nine. No, negative nine is nano. Yes. 
Micro is the one with the U. I just need to go back to which is why I thought it was 10 to the negative 8. Kramer. It always jumps up by threes. Oh, oh, I'm pretty sure it's other than 17 and 17. I'm pretty sure it's negative 3, negative 6, negative 8, negative 9. No negative 8. I mean, I'm sure there's something. I don't know how to do this. You don't know how to do this? There's too many masses. Oh, what is Planes Mass? That makes oh, okay. Then maybe I did do this right. I thought I was solving for the pilot. Oh, wait, that's a big mass for a pilot. Oh, you're going to ignore it. This is a huge mass. Why is a plane? This You said there's too many masses on it? That's actually so upset. No, I said. Bryce didn't do it. Yeah, that's not the number I got. Yeah, so should be a big mass, it is a plane. Yeah, so I got How do you get that? Because you, you have the one. I'm just going to get rid of science of variation. You multiply that by your radius and divide by the. So just, it's just going to be a square. I think I did my math. Hey, does it? Oh, no. I, I multiply by 185 because my handwriting is there. Oh. Is it? Is it? Let's go ahead and see. Should I have 180? No, no, you did not square the 56.6. There's your equation. Yeah, right? Yes, but that's not the same thing. It'd be 150. Solving for mass. Correct? Yeah. It was math. No, but if I said that, you could do that. Just squares the whole thing. Just squares the whole thing. Is it? Yeah. Is that yeah. Well, I'm never, I'm never yeah. I always just set it up like a proportion. I always just solve for the It's easier to find out than you can get it. You just heard the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Well, like you cross-multiply. Yeah. So then you have these two together, R is 1 equals, and then you cross multiply this, yes. so this would be over one. Yes, so the same thing. It is the same thing, but it's just oh, also, yeah. Kramer, how do looping pendulums work? Looping pendulums? Yeah, it was like it was like a string with like a lesser weight and like a bigger weight, and it like swung, or like you dropped the big weight, and it like looped around and it stopped. Oh wait, 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 wait. wait. Also, so, like, it was like a string on top of a pole, pole and like a weight, Stop. so we dropped the big weight, and the, instead of like just making the weight fall off, it like looped around the opposite way. The, the small weight? Yeah. I'm trying to visualize that. Wait, wait, say that again. Also, Ooh, it's like, like big weight, small weight, and there's a string. Are they both tied the same thing? Yeah, yeah, it's like tied. Yeah, yeah, it's on one string, it's like on top of a pole. Like, yeah. Oh, it's like a pole. So like, you have like a pole, and you have like a... Yeah. Like that, this is like a heavy oh, weight, yeah. it's like a smaller weight. And way. instead of like just dropping off, it moves around like the opposite direction. Like, okay. They made it stop. So when this comes down, this goes that way? It goes under it. Wouldn't that be because How it gets it under it? The little one like wraps around underneath it. Yeah, wouldn't that be because the string is trying to give the equal reaction? Kramer, are we done? I assume it was because it like missed the bowling. Yeah, what did you guys get for an answer? What am I hearing? Okay, how did I think so, oh, uh, yeah, because like if it's trying to give it an equal output, it's trying to stop the force of the 